Hi guys, my name is Gaurav. Welcome to the first tutorial of MVC.NET. Today I'm going to show you how to display hello world in MVC.NET. First, we need to open Visual Studio. I already installed MVC 3 and 4 in my uh, Visual Studio. So, first we need to click on File, New project we need to click on web we can click uh, we can choose sp.net mvc3 web application or asp.net mvc4 web application i'm choosing this one i'm giving the project name is hello world I'm choosing the project this is my demo this is the first demo. I am selected like this. So uh, now, I'm, now I am clicking on OK. So I am creating, uh, I am using a basic template and the view engine is Razor. So now uh, Visual Studio is creating for a basic template or project architecture for us. So we will use this structure first. Uh, how uh, I will show you how to print hello world. It's taking. Uh, this is the arch architecture or structure of our project. This is a controller folder. This is a model folder. And this is a view folder. And in this folder, under the view uh, views, we have one shared folder. In this folder, we will have uh, our shared files for view, like layout, any error files. So we want to show like that. And this is your web config file. So first, uh, uh, we need to create one controller for uh, the request. So I clicked on controller. Right, I uh, right click on the controller folder. Now uh, we can directly add as a controller. I am giving this controller to name home. Home controller. So this is a, a controller is uh, implementing the controller class. It's a, app, uh, uh, it's a uh, controller class is abstract class. It's implementing the controller class. Now in this we have this one function you can say function but like in mvc uh, architecture we are saying this is a controller and this is a action this action is index so uh, i am creating one uh, folder for home this is my home folder for home controller now i am oh, uh, i am creating a one view that is index Uh, you can choose your like layout master page layout if you have master page layout then you can choose otherwise you can uh, untick this checkbox I'm not choosing any uh, master page I I have added I'm adding this view the home folder get to this home folder now we have this index folder so now uh, we can edit this this is a layout we don't have any layout so if you want to uh, put any layout manually you can just write here like that uh, demo layout dot html like you can write this name also so uh, i'm just um, i'm not uh, adding any uh, layout to this file this is our file so i wrote here this i'm giving title welcome to mvc.net demo so hello world i am writing here hello world hello world don't i am ready to implement my mvc.net projects i am the 
बैठे मैं तो आई एम शो दिस इज अ मैसेज वी वॉन्ट टू शो ऑन द पेज सो नाम फर्स्ट आई एम रनिंग द प्रोग्राम आई वॉन्ट टू शो यू हाउ द रिजल्ट इट्स कमिंग सो आई क्लिक डॉन द दिस गूगल क्रोम आई एम ओपनिंग इन गूगल क्रोम Hello world, it's showing. Hello world, I'm ready to implement my MVC.NET projects. I'm sp I'm the spider man, like that. So now I want to explain you how it's go uh, it's running. It's uh, request are running. So this is a app underscore data folder. This is a app underscore start folder. Application is starting from here. You, uh, so I'm explaining you how our request is going uh, in this controller. first request is going so wait so uh suppose uh i want to open uh suppose i want to open something like uh, http click on search.com/home Slash index. This is a or or URL. So it means this is a uh, it means this this is our full URL. We want to call this. So in MVC architecture, this is a controller and this is a action. So first request is going to control. After controller is identifying which action is calling. So after that request is going to action. So now. how but how the application is identifying like we didn't mention anywhere like home controller is we need home controller for that or the starting page how we, we can set or starting controller or action so we can configure this form this are filters this are roots yeah this is a in the in the in the app underscore start folder there is a one file a root config we can check here is a mention like default default controller is home and action is index so our first so our uh, request is going first to home controller after this is, uh, request is going to index controller now i'm showing to like full process uh, through debugging so i'm pointing one point here and uh, yeah now i'm starting the application yeah see uh, all pointer or debugging pointer is uh, coming here but because over by default controller is home and action is index it means is uh, request is coming in home controller in action index so so it's showing it's showing us the right way how, how a request is going now uh, i'm changing the root value in Uh, i'm changing the value of default action in home control in the in the root config file this is like for thank you text so i am running this and i have a point a breakpoint here so now i'm running again this uh, project now it's uh, this uh, so uh, calling this project is calling to calling to home home test but we don't have any test uh, the here so i am writing we don't have any test action in this file so i am writing here test and we need to rename this file test so now i am debugging again yeah see the again breakpoint is the pointer is on our breakpoint so this is our first program how to how request is going in mvc.net and how to print hello world in mvc.net thank you guys this tutorial for pickonsearch.com thank you very much